What's up, y'all? Check this out. I am here pulling up to where I am to pick up my brand new 2022 Wall Bass trailer. Brand new. Sweet! We're absolutely going to give a review on this, and we will be right back, y'all. All right, everybody. Turex Trucker coming at you here. I am here. I am in Lafayette, Indiana, here picking up my brand new 2022 Wild Bass trailer. <laughs> do, 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 do. 2021 May date of inspecting so it was brand new it does have the Hendrix tire max auto inflation system I do love that these are swivel and then these come out of the way this is nice but here's my sticker the trailer has been final inspecting and meets the thingies of whatever there's my VIN number the last four to VIN number But this is a nice brand new 2022. It's got the Duraplate air skirt on it. As you can see, nice new everything. <laughs> I like the air skirt that it actually has the rubber or a little more flexible down here at the bottom. Of course, you've got your one center light wall bash holder with the light in the center. Okay, so that's easy. Rivet it in. It does have nice Goodyear freaking tires, so that is sweet. Nothing like having good freaking Virgin Goodyear tires. With the Hendrix Tire Max. And these are fluid oil filled and you can actually see the oil level in these. So I love these auto inflators. Absolutely nice. Check tire pressure here. So you can, I'm assuming this unscrews. Yeah, it looks like it unscrews and then you can check your tire pressure there. So that is freaking sweet. Kind of like the other ones, but the other ones are a little bit different on the other systems they have. Now, I love the locking system on this. <laughs> one thing I did, one thing I don't like, I'll say, the other trailer actually has other lights up there. You can see... Let's see if we can find it. Where's my finger? Right up there in the corner, you can see the whole insert cut out for a light. This only has the three middle lights. My other trailer I had, which was the Vanguard, actually has them at the each end, and they're actually tied into the blinker as well. So I wish this had that, but it does have the inserts, so I don't see why the lights can't be added later because it does have the inserts for it, where you can knock the insert out and put a light in. So that may have to be something that, you know, is gonna kick in and, and happen. Of course, you see some rust on the drums, but it has been sitting here, but you can tell everything is fresh, brand new. It's a different leveler valve. I have to say, I've never seen a bracket for a leveler valve like that but all brand new everything nice and shiny except for the drums <laughs> we got to change this tag out and put the permanent freaking tag on it i was hoping they had bolts but i don't see any flipping bolts for it this i don't really like this with a tag this is plastic i have to find me some freaking bolts to put this in put a tag in huh oh well Anyway, the locking system on these 
or one thing I like, which is what kind of turned me on to the wall bash. You turn this, and as you can see right down in here, this fits in and this is what actually secures your door. So you can put a lock in there and it's harder for them to deal. So, you know, as you can see, the door is absolutely tight. That's not going anywhere. But this turns, this pulls out, then you turn this. And then you can open up your door. And it actually has a mid-door brace. Whereas a lot of doors I have not seen, the other one didn't have a mid a mid-door brace. <laughs> but we tell, you know, people walked in here and look, you see the footprints in here. Nice good hardwood floor, never been scuffed on. Ugh. I will say one thing though. In the Vanguard trailer, this plate here actually is extended to about here. It does have a lot longer. So that is one downside to it, I will say. Kind of disappointed in that. I was kind of wishing that it would be back to here. But right there is fine, hey. It just gives something for the dock. The dock um, things to come down on. It's not marked inside here what trailer number this is. So I might have to magic mark inside the trailer here what trailer this is. <laughs> now this has a big long freaking deck here. Um, one thing I do like about this is that this is in the Vanguard, these panels, this is just two panels. In the Vanguard, it was actually a whole bunch of small panels. Maybe about 12 inch panels running up and across. Which I guess the good thing, if you had one of them go bad, you just replace the one little tiny panel as opposed to a big panel. But the big panels are a little more cosmetic, cosmetically pleasing as a whole bunch of small panels. Yeah, this definitely, I've definitely got to blow this out. This is, man, there's wood and stuff all in this. So this definitely has to be blown out. But man, the fumes are actually kind of strong in here from the, from the fresh wood, I guess. But yeah, it's actually kind of fumey in here. So we're going to pull this out. Driving in the refrigerator owner's manual. I will actually keep this since I am buying this trailer. But yeah, I love this. And the thing about securing the doors on this, you notice this doesn't have the rubber stopper on the door, which keeps tension because most of them have the chains. This doesn't have the chains on it. So the way this works is this comes in and that opening there, this notch here comes back, goes inside there. This comes down. It's kind of hard to hold a camera and do this. <laughs> push on the door that goes in and then you turn this and lock that in now your door is secure and it's closer up against your trailer than the chains and it's not flopping around like with the chains and you don't have to worry about this going anywhere because as you can see it's locked in because of this locking mechanism when that turns that completely locks it in so that is absolutely sweet Let's see what size tires are on here. 22.5 low pros. I've actually got 11 r 225s on my tractor, but the next time I go to get tires, when I swap all of them out, I'm actually gonna get low pros. Now that I know I'm sticking with a box, I will get low pros. But yeah, like I said, I love the Hendrix Tire Max auto inflators. And of course this does have the lever for the, to release this for the auto slide. And there is our tire max auto inflation system. So, uh, let's see, it's controller factory set to 100 PSI. I'm sure they've adjusted it for the tires that are actually on here. But as you can see, all brand new freaking manifolds, lines, everything else is running up here nice and neat. I would like to get, eventually put a, uh, one of the right way 
right way um, scale systems on here. That is something I definitely want to put on here. So as you can see, nice good extension. So this is cool. I actually like this. I think this would be a good trailer. You know, I don't see any freaking damage on anything anywhere. I say I love the skirting. Let's see, easy spin. Do da, do da. Yep, easy down. Let's see. Put it in other gear. Make sure we roll good in that gear. Yep, roll good in that gear. Oh, they got grease on it. And I just took a shower this morning. Oh, that blows. Oh, well. Yeah, anyway, y'all, this is my review of my brand new 2022 Wabash trailer. Hopefully, you like it. I like it. Um, definitely want to try to get this thing paid off as early as I can. But we will see how things go, y'all. And hope y'all have a good, safe, blessed day. I'll tell you later. Peace out. Uh-oh.